welcome back to Gaysan Yumi. <laughs> so this time I'm gonna wear the Shiromoku as Kin again. And as you can see here, I turned the fill into the transparent mode. You can set it on the game setting though, so you can see better when you are playing Hunter. So I saw Barmaid over here. I was thinking, okay, let me try to get you. I know Barmaid can be annoying too because you know after you hit barmaid well they they can drink the dog lane and still kiting while healing themselves and barmaid will also get another adjustment yeah upcoming adjustment i haven't i haven't made a i mean like a dedicated adjustment video for barmaid i just make the gravekeeper because you know like the season will gonna end it really fast and i I haven't reached my rank target because I'm so busy in real life, especially on rank session. It's almost impossible for me to play on rank session. And you know, like I play both factions, so yeah, it's kind of like, really like messing up my schedule, you know. Okay, finally taking down Barmaid over here. But remember, guys, do not believe on early down. Trust me. I've made like couple mistakes because I've got early down, like early, let's say early terror shock or let's say just an, a normal early down but then i let my guard down so it makes me like you know like kind of kind of losing concentration because i'm way too confident that i can win that match it's not a good it's not a good thing you guys yeah so as you can see here i saw the blue portal i destroyed it right away so there is no escape or exit way for the barmaid i was thinking Hmm, this enchantress want to rescue or will night come? Because most of the time enchantress didn't bring a uh, titaner. But yep, no titaner but still won't try to assist the barmaid. And turn out, turn out, enchantress still want to assist barmaid over here, you know, like with the curse. Still charging and charging. I know, like, I know, I'm mean, like, I, I was an A, I, I an a batch enchantress before on Asia and I know, like, Yep, Enchantress is really strong behind the wall. And yep, Enchantress can be really annoying to Hunter too, you know, like keep stunning. That's why I always bring my desperate fight persona. So, every time the Enchantress keeps stunning me over and over on a short period of time, I'm gonna recover faster and faster. Let's say someone stunned me with the pallet, or let's say Enchantress uh, use curse and then someone stunned me with the pallet, or let's say Enchantress also stunned me with the pallet, I'm gonna recover faster. So bring this red fight persona is really important when you see like enchantress for specter let's see or forward yep but i always ban forward and see it. wow that's crazy right rescuing on 99 percent yep gonna gonna heal enchantress gonna heal enchantress okay another hit for knife yep I think Enchantress will gonna try to you know like assisting barmaid because barmaid will die after this well, most of the most of the enchanters player will gonna do this. I know, and the cipher has been accelerated. Even though it's still three, you need to be really careful, with it, guys. Why? Because after the acceleration started, they can cross the cipher even crazier, even faster. Is that three stack of curse? Yep, three stack of curse. It will take longer. You know to get recover but this place is not the best one you know it's not the best one for barmaid to run away no pallets around here and let me just fly and get a better better view over there i saw i saw enchanters and mercenaries trying to heal each other okay another hit for knife that's good for me though knife we're gonna down so now time for me to take care of enchanters that is has been really annoying on this match though okay Two cypher left remaining, guys. Okay, my abnormal is ready though. But I was thinking, should I change to peeper? You know, because when the the situation on the survivor side is bad, sometimes I try to you know like change to peeper and make 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 the control even better for me. You know, like see better, and also they will run slower. They will recover. You know, healing themselves slower too. But yeah, sometimes. Sometimes I still keep my abnormal a little bit, you know. Okay, so there is tight uh, right now. Okay, so there is Titaner right now. So knife and please just bring Titaner. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, let me get you. Finally, do. 
But at least, yeah, I, I, I think, yeah, this enchanter is still trying to, to help bar me. Well, well, good try, though. Oh, another hit to knife, though. The debuff of healing will gonna be stacked up. I mean, like, it's gonna take longer and longer. I wanna take down Priestess, too, but Priestess already ran away. I think we're gonna heal knife after this. Okay, let me take Enchantress first. Okay. So, yeah. Like I said, there. Yeah, I mean, um, enchanters try try their best lah like, to help barmaid. Even though maybe maybe that's not the best situation eh, because it's still on the middle game. But I know that some players do that. Well, it's basically based on your game style. But some people we're gonna we're gonna do that on late game. Let's say and waiting until the last cipher can be popped because you know, like most importantly, is to rush the cipher machine. So. It's basically like a game style of the player themselves. So that's the video of today. I hope you can get some insight. I see you again on my next video, guys. Bye bye.